Ooh-wee. I love the movement. It's so majestic. Welcome or welcome back. This is Garrett Brown Art Studios and I am back with another video just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of my Modified Bloom series. It really wasn't a series, but the last video was so amazing. I had to make another. Before we get started, I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for watching me, supporting my channel, and there is so much more to come. So, find yourself a drink, a little snack, sit back, relax, let's have some fun, and let's paint. These are my colors for today. And today we're pouring on an 8x20 stretch canvas by Creative Inspirations, and I bought this at jerrysartarama.com so I divvy up my pillow paint into these containers and I put all of my pillow paint plus one ounce of GAC 800 to 1.5 ounces of water with my pillow paint stir very well let it sit overnight thins out the paint just a little bit but not too much, but allows you that good flow. Most of my colors are leftovers or combinations of leftovers. Um, so I won't be able to tell you all of the colors today. This next color is Atelier brand. John Brilliant. This next orange is Canadian Orange Hue by Dick Blick. Next up are our piggies. This is seaweed. In my last video, the fluid art pigments really stole the show. So I'm wanting to see if that's gonna happen again. This is McCall. This is Amsterdam Oxide Black.
So I chose to layer my piggies near the top of my blooms because I want to showcase them and make sure that shimmer is not lost. I also chose that lighter orange that you see because it is opaque and I don't want my green and orange to make too much of a brown muddy color. I want them to stay defined and we'll see how it all comes out. <laughs> Look at these huge, juicy, luscious cells right here. I am just blown away. Gotta get you guys in for a close up. Look at those gorgeous cells, how they, oh. Woo wee. I love the movement, it's so majestic. And the cells are a bit wonky, but I like them. And you know, I'm not a huge fan of those big wonky cells. And you got other, these are kind of like peacocks, even though they don't have multiple colors shooting through. Seeing much of my seaweed or macaw in this one. 
of theirs a little bit. But hopefully when it dries, it'll just peak enough so that you can see it in the sunlight. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to scrape your bottoms here. This is going to help with the runoff and to not pull your paints to one side. So, <clears throat> I am so thrilled with the results of my green and orange one that I am going to do a blue one as well to finish off the set. Um, I'll show you the yellow one from a previous video. Yeah, I'm just I'm just in love with these modified blooms. Um, I have less control, and that's a good thing because I like to like really be able to control my blooms. Um, but I see other artists who are doing these modified blooms, like Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, and sometimes it doesn't look like it's gonna be anything, and then at the end it's just drop dead gorgeous. So this is me, you know, to try and, you know, push in my envelope a little bit. So this go around, we have a beautiful light blue permanent that's gonna go down first. Next up is Ultramarine Blue by Golden. Look y'all, ooh, gorgeous. Love, love, love it all. Mm.
I'm really loving this. There's a lot of shimmer that's going to show in this one. This is one of my favorite parts. Those gorgeous cells right there. Now, these cells got a little wonky for me, but I couldn't really do much with it without disturbing this up here. And it was worth it. Check out those gorgeous cells and lacing. And that seaweed and macaw is going to show up very well in the sunlight. Not as much macaw in this one. I was running out. Check out those peacocks. And I love, look at those. Look at that. It's like a 3D effect. For watching today i hope you have an amazing day i'm going to leave you with a few of my favorite words and that is to do everything with love treat your friends your family and even your enemies with love take some time to enjoy the beautiful season as we transition from summer to fall in the states or whatever season that you'll be transitioning to around the world if you enjoyed this video i am going to link one of my absolute favorite videos coming right up um, so you can just keep on watching. I hope you have an amazing productive day. Peace.